Hello, my name is Lukas Plachek and I'm going to explain problem B called asteroids. And in this task we are given two polygons which move in constant speed. And our task is to find the biggest intersection. Uh, when they're going to move, they're going to intersect and we're going to find the biggest intersection. Uh, the first observation we should make is that we can hold one polygon still and only move the other one because uh, speed is relative. So <clears throat> instead of moving this one with speed u and this one with speed v, we're going to consider this one moving both with speed v and uh, minus u, so the opposite. And we're just, we're just gonna add these speeds together. So we can consider the polygon moving uh, towards up and left. And the second observation is that there are some interesting events when, when we move the, the polygons. So <coughs> when we focus on one point in, in a polygon, it's gonna enter uh, the second polygon and then leave it at at some point in time and also f for the for the opposite so this point stays stationary but then we move this polygon here and uh, at some point in time it's going to enter and leave the other polygon <coughs> and we would like to know first the the first time they touch and also when they touch, the, the intersection is going to increase and also decrease. And we also want to know the, the last time of, uh, of touching. So we have all the interesting points. And for all of them, we know when they happen. And uh, we should find the one which is the earliest, also the one which was the last. It's going to be important later. Uh, the second or the third observation is that uh, this, is a, this is a function of area with respect to time. And we can observe that first, these polygons are far away, so they don't touch. The area of intersection is zero. And, but then they get closer. And the area of this intersection goes up. At, at some point, it reaches maximum, and then it decreases again. And there is only one maximum, which follows from the fact that uh, the, the polygons are convex. And these are, this, is the, this is the first point when they touch, and this is the last one when they touch, which we already found before. So how do we compute the area of the intersection of these polygons? We can use the fact that intersection of two convex polygons is convex. And here you can see an example. So we have a, a pentagon and a triangle. And uh, this is a convex uh, polygon. And one way to find this polygon is to find all the corners of the intersection first. And all the corners are either vertices of the original polygons or intersections of two line segments. So we can find all the inter interesting points and then <coughs> find a convex hull of, of this set. And we constructed our intersection. Watch out for some special cases. So uh, in the case when they never intersect, you should print uh, never. But if they only touch, the area is a zero, as in the case of never touching. But you should write the, the time of, uh, of, of when they touch. And if you're interested in knowing more about this problem, <coughs> we also give a reference to a scientific paper which also has a formal proof why there's only one maximum uh, on, the, on the function. Thanks for your attention.